Hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy. I took the airship and I'm back around Lufania. I went around and uh, bought some supplies and stuff. And I'm showing you this big desert because our next little objective is the tower right in the middle of it. Right there. This is where we're going next. But it's surrounded by sand. And once again, there's only one landing spot right around here. This little bit. So, yeah. And now we're going north. And this area is, well, a desert. There's not much else to say about it. It's got uh, desert berettas, and they're no issue now, I think. Well, they're, they're less of an issue. So, yeah. And the place we're going, hopefully, isn't too far away. It should just be up here. I might want up. Oh, there it is. Cool. And I think we are okay on health. I actually stayed at an inn right before I picked up supplies and whatnot, so hopefully this will be easy without having to worry about using a sleeping bag or anything. And basically the Mirage Tower is essentially the 4th Fiend Dungeon, but it's more like a link to the 4th Fiend Dungeon because we're taking on the uh, Wind Fiend person. Hopefully. <laughs> and I think before we go in there we're going to use a sleeping bag just because, you know, I want to make sure everyone's at max health and everything. And what's kind of neat about the Mirage Tower, which is what this is called, is the first door is, or the first staircase is literally right there, if you don't want to go for the chests. Uh, ooh, there's a Black Knight, that's something new. Nightmares are not new, so we're just gonna not worry about them snorting their cocaine on us, hopefully. Doesn't look like it, though. Oh, the Black Knight's not too much of an issue, either. And Fooper is still the best right now. He just did loot damage. Or, well, 1007, which kind of spells loot if you think about it, so yay! I am rambly today. And up here, though, if you don't want to just go straight for the exit, there are a bunch of chests. Which is really cool. But I think at least most of them are guarded, so we got some gill. A healing helm. What's that? I want to see. What does a healing helm do? Cast seal, much like... The healing staff. I wonder if anyone can wear it. I should have checked that before I hit B. The ninja, okay. But is it better? It is! It's actually got better defense. Doesn't it? And if, er, well, yeah. Better defense, less evasion, but you already have a lot of evasion, so... Not too worried about that. And then there's this little spot with some gill. More gill. And a vorpal sword. What is that? Very sharp crescent blade. Only the ninja can use it here. It is weaker, so we're not going to worry about it. And we're going to swing around and fight vampires. Ooh, remember when these were bosses, guys? Nope. That was a while ago. And now there are three of them. And we should have... Yep. Ooh. Yeah, one hit. It, that was a mini-boss, actually, in the Earth Dungeon, and now we're like... Look at where we are now, just just taking them down and around one hit. Boom. Yeah! There's a lot of experience in Gil, relatively. There's some more Gil. An Aegis Shield. I think we've seen one of those before. What does it do? Guards against stone, and no one can use it. There are a lot of night things. And a tent. And up here, um, after this battle against more vampires, more like glampires, with those eye, with that, that lipstick and eyeshadow. Unless it has naturally green eyes, which I doubt. Punch him in the face, yeah. Cut him in the face, yeah. And he's dead. But anyways, up here, Oh. Okay, what do you have like a lion dragon goat head going on? I don't I don't comprehend you, sir, but I'm going to cast extreme fire on you. Maybe even uh Thundara. Okay. Ah, blaze it. I don't know if we've faced chimeras before. Oh, they go down pretty easily though, so Maybe it wasn't a great idea to use Faraga. I just like to be prepared. Like this. 
Oh, it would have been a good chance to try out Flare, but that probably does a lot of... takes a lot of magic to use. I don't know. Anyways, that one's still alive, so we're gonna try to fix that. Yeah, like that. Anyways, there's another robot here. Master, we have waited so long. And there are a couple glowy panels. They don't really do anything, so we're just gonna... Oh. Okay. Oh, don't flee, attack. What should you do? I don't know. We don't know these enemies, so maybe I'll... Ooh, you shoot beams, that's new. Oh, you have a high defense, if you're taking that much. It occurs to me I've never actually shown the best Yuri in this game. Yikes, you have a lot of defense. I might dedicate an episode to that. I don't know. Um, but we have to go back. I took the wrong path. Now we have to fight more of these guys, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And, yeah, go up, around, down, right, battle, ooh. Screw it, I'm gonna show off Flare right now. How much? It costs 50, wow. And you. Boom. Boom. Flare. Ooh. Yeah. And now we go down to the left side in the staircase. Unfortunately, the staircase for this one is like inside of a spiral thing. So we gotta go all the way around. Um, you'll see what I mean in a second. We're gonna fight more chimeras. This time, let's just not take any risks. At the same time, I should have my healing staff ready. I'm thinking that since Ryuko has the healing helm, I might give... If I find the third ribbon, I'll give it to the other person who doesn't have one. I think it's Tadpole. Yes! Let's blast him with light and heat! Rawr. Okay, that was cheap. That was like two steps. I mean, we got preemptive, so I'm just gonna attack, but... Come on. Not Kawaii. Hellhounds! Be the dead. Yeah, Tadpole, cut him! Okay, going up. Because I'm around this way. Oh god, more guardians. Oh, wait, you know what? I keep forgetting to do this the right way, the easier way. Because they do little... I wonder if those little beams, like, have some sort of special effect to them. I feel like they do, because they aren't doing much physical damage. Okay, and... You saw a little split in the path. Hopefully before the Chimera showed up, and we want to take the, uh, left side, because the other one just kind of goes to a little mini dead end. And there's another robot down there, but we have to work our way down. Did I miss a turn somewhere? Huh, I don't know. I feel like I did. No, I didn't. Cool. Uh, more Chimera. They aren't too difficult. We know what we're doing. Yeah. I'm kind of glad that Fooper's kind of caught up on defense and health-wise, because he was taking a lot of hits. So we want to go, let's see, down. Right? Yeah, I think this way. Oh no, more you. Let's have some fun with this. Here is my light axe. I could do another light axe, but I'm just gonna do a fire, the mage's wand thing, staff. I forgot what it was called. Yeah. Ooh, look into me. Look at me. I am the captain now. You missed because you suck. And. Yes, bathe them in holy light. Ah, and then burn and eyes them. Burn and eyes. Yeah. Okay, the bottom three leveled again. It's still gonna bug me, by the way. And in here, there's room with a bunch of those glowy tiles. There's a couple guardians we gotta face, but they don't have a lot of defense, so it should just be an issue of punching them. Yeah, like that. Good job, Fooper. I'm so proud. Come on, Ryuko, stab him. Yeah. 
And basically there are a bunch of chests in this room. And a bunch of enemies, but these are all pretty easy to kill now, so... Not gonna bother. Hopefully Fooper hits next. Yeah, because... I was worried that Tadpole would hit a target and Fooper would hit them and it would be kind of a waste of health. Or whatever. Oh, you gain health after each turn. I didn't realize that. We have to mitigate that by punching you harder. <laughs> okay, let's go for those chests. Gil. Thor's hammer. Wait, Thor's hammer? Come on, you're getting your mythologies confused, dude. A hammer that casts Thundara that both... Ooh, it's a, it's a weapon for the White Wizard. You need one. Wait, how much attack did it give you? Okay. Cool. Not bad. I mean, I think it's... Yeah, it's not as good as the Defender's Sword, so yeah. What's in this one? More Gil. And then we've got a Sunblade. More Gil. More Gil. Dragon Mail. And a Cottage. I want to see what these last two do. I'm not going to sort this time because they're going to be right at the bottom, right? Yeah, Dragon Mail. No one can use. Mithril Hammer. That's not what we found. Sunblade, that's what we found. It's effective against undead. Not exactly useful now, but maybe it's stronger? Yeah, it looks like it. Ah, ah. There we go. Cool. Looks like everyone is doing better. Yeah. And then there should... Is there not... Oh, the staircase is on the outside. Right. Um... We have to go back out, because there's a door on the right side of the bottom of this room, and then up to go to the door. We could have gone around, but I wanted to get the treasure. We could have gone actually through either of the doors. We could, but I'm going to go through the right door, because we came in from the left, and I'm weird like that. And, uh, you're doing a lot of damage. Okay, so down. Combat. Ooh, where tiger? That's new. Um... You can't use equipped items as items, I think, if they have, like, a spell. Which is unfortunate. Because, yeah. I'm gonna hope that since the word wear is in the name, it's some kind of, like, weak to fire thing. I don't know why, that's just my logic. I'm also gonna try the gauntlets, because lightning is fun. It's shock and awe, you know? Yay! It didn't kill them, but it did damage. Do the thing! Yes! I say that a lot. Come on. Is it gonna kill them? It is kill! Cool. Right door. Those were guardians, and I love the quake spell now. Again. We're starting to run out of new enemies. Which isn't bad, considering... ...that we're almost done with the mission, the, uh, the, the, this part of the dungeon and whatnot, but... ...it's still sad. Kinda. Um, where tigers are aware. Let's see, what can I use? Uh, let's just do this. And then you cast this. And you... Do this just in case. Yay! Burn and eyes them. Yeah! Keep burninizing them. Actually, now I wonder if we can use these items out of battle. Nope. I tried. Oh well. Anyways, up here is another robot. Our friend left on a journey to the west. He took the warp cube and went to see our master. So I guess if we went here before going to the waterfall, this would be our cue that, hey, someone went west. So far west that they would have been better going east, but, you know, west. Because you need the warp cube to get the thing to do the things. And uh, this is the last floor of the Mirage Tower. Um, up here there should be one more pair of vampires, but also another robot. And a blue dragon, that's different. It does 100 damage or so. What if we do 1,000? And this, dragon, this robot says, Use the warp cube to travel beyond the sky. It will take you to the Flying Fortress. So yeah, this is basically the end of the Mirage Tower part of the dungeon, so... 
uh, next time on Final Fantasy, we're going to be heading up. So, um, see you then, guys. Take care.